r slash ask reddit if you get a chance to visit any one country of the world to restart your life from a child to adult which will be that country and why also very nice climate without many extreme conditions and generally nice people also i personally like the landscape though i have never been there in winter however don't be fooled they had severe social struggles ranging from poverty religious factors to the north-south conflict until very recently and i think traces still remain to this day many of my problems growing up could have been solved if not by the heat in brazil i utterly dread any sort of heat walking to school going to the beach social anxiety the sun's awful brightness sensorial issues my favorite days are cloudy or rainy i also love christmas halloween and amp cold showers alaska canada hokkaido in japan iceland norway sweden finland you'd love scotland it's always pissing down and the beaches are baltic with 5 sea water it's truly a paradise canada conquered alaska i'm indian but i'll choose india again as a country to be born and raised tbh having lived my formative years there has allowed me to not take everything for granted and stay i do like my indian origins but i would love to live in scandinavian countries also as i'm from himachal so cold is not an issue for me what an idiotic choice think it's got to be a scandy country high levels of happiness high living quality good education and healthcare system north sentinel island just to live a simple life with indigenous people in voluntary isolation and stay away from the nonsense mankind reached america living in ukraine is pretty shitty grass is always greener on the other side my dudes canada i wouldn't be alone anymore i'm an american and i would choose to still be born in the united states she has her problems but the benefits outweigh them i frequently travel and have lived in a few countries admittedly western countries i.e western european everyone has their own unique social problems it's not only the us the french are racist af edited to remove a typo western europe is my favorite country canada oh canada if i was to be a citizen with the same parents switzerland uae qatar or singapore and gt uae qatar naya dog naya you're running the massive risk of being one of the help in those countries and that isn't great gun to my head if i had to leave the uk and restart elsewhere i'm saying new york why it's familiar big city melting pot of different people knowing where the crime is at hole in the wall food spots incredible music culture most notably rap that's what i know that's what i'm comfortable with i love visiting rural areas but to live it's gotta be a big city new york ticks all the right boxes only one problem i would exist in 2001 yup as a scandy i agree we are very lucky to be born here and i would be happy to do it again yes it's dark and cold a lot of the time but i would rather have that than extreme heat we have wool we have haiga we have four full seasons it's ever changing we complain about the weather for sure but no we have it good compared to so many i'm aware and thankful america to start my own adult film company this usa because i want to turkey because the turkish people are nice and fun to hang out with mp some small island with technology not newest but yet technology italy so that i can work for ferrari or ducati i love these questions because it fuels my imagination i automatically think of a beautiful european country as my first option then i realize i'm asian and having visited european countries while not necessarily discriminated on it made me feel uncomfortable at times so i am reluctant to imagine the reality of what would be my story however if i ignore this notion it would be spain what the history the food and the women sorry to sound so boring why is this flagged as nsfw user is from north korea and posts like this are nsfw there slash s why is this nsfw the state i was born in in australia has a hdi human development index of 0.967 so i definitely lucked out otherwise norway which has a hdi of 0.980 where i was born the us i can imagine living in many other places but i can't imagine growing up anywhere else that strongly informs who you are unless you're saying you'd still remember your adult life and still be the same person just in a smaller body then i might consider it scotland highlands isolation cold weather probably america knowing that my parents already made it there without sacrificing leaving me here in a third world country 
Re live in a war-torn country and die. Bro is trying to make his own billion arc lol. Germany. The US prop, better than where I grew up. Anywhere in Europe. It start my art career earlier and would have gotten a lot more done and less time. More inspiration at a closer distance. Surrounded by more genuine people when it comes to art and that appreciate art a lot more than in the US, would have been a big help with motivation. More history too. Deleted. And then end up in the 97th percentile of oppressed, poor individuals you never see on TV. If I had that choice, I would pick America to feel what it's like to be a white boy. That stereotype sucks. If I had that choice, I would pick America to feel what it's like to be a white boy. I'd like to see your face after being born in the New York Bronx. India because there I can experience the real life adventures problems and a own man-made solution of every problem the people of India call it Jugat. Username checks out. Any country as long as I'm a billionaire there. England. It's been a dream of mine since my first Miss Marple mystery. Small cottage in a peaceful village. Less than 58% chance to be born only white though. Somewhere with a banger education system, free healthcare, livable weather, and great job opportunities. Oh that's the most important things I can think of, I don't know how to look up a country that fits that. Probably Finland, they're the happiest. I would go to Ireland I've never been there before but it's giving me a nostalgia. Unfamiliar yet familiar kinda weird though cause I missed it so much. Uh, hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.